Okay, I'm gonna try and demonstrate how to find the state diagram from a circuit, and then I'm also going to find the circuit from a state diagram. So the first thing I do when I get a question like this is I try to figure out, okay, what do I need in my table? So I'm gonna have a J, a K, two Qs, an input X, and an output Y. So I'm gonna have Q1, Q2, X. And this is going to be my present state. This will be my input. And the next I will have a J, a K, and these will be my flip-flops to produce my next state, Q1. This is going to be Q1. This will be two QT, ugh, sorry, Q2. So my J and my K will give me my next state Q1. Next we will have our T flip-flop which will give us our next state Q2 and then finally we have our Y. Now we need to come up with all possible combinations of Q1, Q2, and X since there's three different variables, it's two to the third, which is eight. So let's do eight. Okay, that's a long one. <laughs> so, next, to figure out my J's, I go ahead and put my little equation for my J's up here by looking at the circuit. So, J is going to equal X primed and Q2. So, X equals or J equals X prime and Q2. So then, let's figure this out. X prime would be one, Q2 is zero. So that would be zero. One, zero. One prime to zero and Q2 is zero. That would be zero. Zero primed is one, and one would be one. Zero primed and one would be zero. Zero primed would be one, one and zero is zero. Zero and zero would be zero. One and one would be one and one and zero again would be zero. So we have zero, zero, one, zero, 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 one, zero. Next, let's go to K. Our K will be Q or X. So, and it would be Q2. So K would be Q, 2, or X. <coughs> Excuse me. So, Q, 2, or X. 0 or 0 is 0. 
one or zero is one. One or zero, one, one or one would be one. Zero or zero, zero, one or zero, one, and so forth. So now we are up to our next state cue, and this is where coming in with this, pretty much memorizing this JK table for flip flops will give you about all the combination for all the flip flops, D flip flops, and T flip flops in your JK. So with JK table, we have zero, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, one. And that gives us an output or a change. Um, zero and zero have no change. Zero and one go to zero, which is reset. One and zero go to one, which is set. And one and one go to Q prime. So, Let's go up here and look at our J and K's. So, zero and zero would give us no change, and Q1 is zero, so Q1 would still be zero. Zero and one, if you can see this, zero and one, zero and one is a reset, so it doesn't matter what Q started out, it is now going to be a zero. We have one and one, which is Q prime. So we look at what Q started out, which is zero. And now we go to one. Zero and one is reset. We don't care what it was, it's going to zero. Zero and zero is no change. So we look at what it was. It was a one, it's gonna stay a one. We have zero and one again, reset. One and one, which is prime, which is zero. And zero and one, which is reset. So we have zero, zero, one, zero, one, zero, zero, zero for our next state of Q1. And just a side note, a lot of people may call this S1 for state um, instead of Q, or some people just lab label them different. As long as you realize that the first variable you use, the second variable you use, first state, next state. Okay, so now for T. Now for T flip-flop, our equation is going to be, we have Q2 coming in, and then we have Q1 coming in, if you can see that, and we are priming it. So our T is going to be Q2 times Q1 prime. So let's look at Q1 times Q1 is 0, primed is 1, 0 times 1 is 0, primed 1. Now one times one is one, primed is zero. And so for T, we have one, 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 zero, zero. And now we need to look at our chart again. Now for T, flip flop, it's just the outer two. So if T equals one, it's Q prime. Now we have lots of ones, so we go Q primed, all the way here, so our Q2, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Now we have 0, 0, which is no change. 1, 1. So remember, the J and the K, the J and the K, were to give us our Q1 next state. Our T is going to give us our Q2 next state. So don't get confused when you start looking in, at Q's. Don't accidentally look at your Q1's when you're trying to calculate your Q2's. Or looking at your Q2's when you're trying to calculate your Q1's. 
So now for our Y. Let's look at what Y is. Y equals Q1 and Q2. So Q1 times Q2. Q1 times Q2 is 0. 0 and 0 is 0. 0 and 1 is 0. 0 and 1 is 0. 0, 0, 1, and 1. So I know this is a little messy. I hope you can kind of see where they all line up. But for our y, we now have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. So now from this, we are ready to make our state diagram. And because if you take a look, our y's do not change with our q states. So we can use a more model state diagram. So I'm going to go ahead and section this off. So again, for more, we have 0, 0, and 0, 0 equal 0 and 0. Because our y's do not change, we can use a more. 0, 1, 0, 1, they both equal 0. So, let's go ahead. Okay, next we'll be uh, doing our state diagram. Which is pretty simple. For our X's, I wanted to get another color just so you could see this. You'll see why I'm doing this in a second. Okay, like I said, we're going to have four states, 0, 0, and when it's 0, 0, Y is going to equal 0. 0, 1, and when it's 0, 1, Y will equal 0. When it is 1, 0, Y will equal 0. And when it is 1, 1, Y will equal 1. So now we just have to fill in our x's. When x is 0 at 0, 0, it goes to 0, 1. When x equals 1, it goes again to 0, 1. When we are at 0, 1 and x equals 0, we go to 1, 0. When x equals 1, we go to 0, 0. When we're at 1, 0, and x is equal to 0, we go to 1, 1. When x is equal to 1, we go to 0, 1. When we're at 1, 1, and x is equal to 0, we go to 0, 1. And when we are at 1, 1, and x is equal to 1, we go again to 0, 1. And that is the state diagram.